So, hello friends, I am Anirvan from Fusion Tech. I hope that all of you are very well. And today is the sixth Tech News series. Uh, so, let's start, friend. So, hello friends. Uh, today, first Tech News is that Lenovo K6 Note launched in India, price, release date, specification, and much more. The highlighted point Lenovo K6 Note uh, bears a uh, 4000 mAh battery. It will be available to buy in India from Saturday. Prices from the smartphone as Rs. 13,999. Let's describe it. Lenovo on Wednesday announced the launch in its uh, K Note series via offline store in India. Specifically, the company has launched a Lenovo K6 Note in India and say it, it will be available across 15,000 retail stores in the country. Starting Saturday, the company say Lenovo K6 Note price in India starts at Rs. 13,999. And uh, the Lenovo K6 Note smartphone will be available in uh, two variants in the country, 3GB RAM, 32GB storage and 4GB RAM and 64GB storage. And uh, Lenovo adds that the consumers will be able to avail 0% EMI by, via Bajaj Finance and Home Credit. The company has also made uh, the ANT VR headset and uh, its VR controller available in offline retail stores uh, alongside priced at Rs. 1299 and Rs. 2800 respectively. And the dual SIM Lenovo K6 Note's uh, biggest highlights in its 4000mAh battery and its uh, um, sp sports a fingerprint sensor on the real uh, panel. And uh, the Android 6.0 Marshall Law and the best smart uh, smartphone bears a 5.5 inch full HD 1920 into 1080 pixels uh, IPS display and it is uh, powered by a 64 bit Snapdragon 430 octa core processor, 4 Cortex A53 cores clocked and 1.2 gigahertz and 4 Cortex A53 cores clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. Coupled with an um, Adreno 505 GPU and the um, smartphone storage can be him uh, expanded via micro SD card up to 120GB. And uh, on the optics front, Lenovo K6 uh, Note uh, include a 16 megapixel rear camera with a dual note LED flash and 8 megapixel selfie camera connectively. Options on board include 4G light, Wi Fi 802.1.1, BGN, Bluetooth version 4.1, and GPS sensor on the K6 Note include a accelerometer and uh, uh, geoscope and proximity sensor and digital compass. That means uh, super features. So friends, uh, today's second uh, tech news is that uh, IBM launches Cyber Security Center for India. So uh, report from Bangalore that uh, IBM has launched uh, what it say, it, uh, start of our cyber security command center in Bangalore to offer customized security solution to its Indian clients. The company said it planned this long before the extra push from the digital in India came from demonetization and but the current environment makes them to move look. Particularly relevant uh, concerns about security are becoming top of mind of uh, many involved uh, as the Modi, Narendra Modi, uh, our honorable Prime Minister, government uh, aggressively pushes digital payments. And uh, Sandeep Sina Roy, uh, head of the security service in IBM of India, indicated that uh, those concerns are not uh, misplaced. We deal with an average of uh, 140 million in the, uh, incidents in India in a month. So he said that uh, in, uh, incidents can involve uh, inadvertent or uh, malicious acts by internal employers of a company or external threats. So Newfield said uh, Watson can do in the second what a security engineer will take hours to do. If there are uh, 1 lakh devices in an organization infrastructure, Watson can look at all or ongoing and uh, real time uh, threats uh, and uh, understand which of those devices are suspectively to the attacks. And uh, in November, IBM Security announced uh, a major expansion of its uh, incident response capability, cap uh, capability include new facility and services and software. So services and software uh, as part of the $200 million investment made this year. So apart from local centers like the new one in India, IBM also 
has the global security services center including ones in Bengaluru and that uh, have uh, recently been uh, revamped as Exports Command Center. These centers work as single entity service uh, clients globally. So third tech news is that Google Translate or Microsoft Translate are neither actually. So India is uh, for all technology company but uh, the, what seems uh, to have uh, stopping their progress in the uh, diverse number of language in the country. So hence it has no banner that the big three Google, Facebook and Microsoft are working on the translation technology to solve people's problem but they seem to be lacking behind when it comes to Hindi or others language being translated to English. What we try or vice versa. That means despite most of these company trying to get as accurate as possible the technology is it to be foolproof and sometimes the result was funny. While Google holds the translations uh, uh, and has the natural language understanding team to focuses on uh, teaching machines to understand languages. Microsoft is working on a cloud based solution to create to create a to customers and uh, enterprises to help whether the translation is required. Both Google Translator and Microsoft Translator available on browser as uh, an apps offer a variety of languages as points of uh, options along with photo speech keyboard input and conversation modes for translations so however what seems to be happening is that machine learning tool or the translation engineer either literally translates on all words or in effort to do it better fills and creates funny sentences without a meaning the hindustan times try to translate a speech given by prime minister narendra modi on his radio show man man ki baat here are result that is so interesting while both the engines tried neither could gives us good complete sentences google which seem to have most of right failed translation to opening like meaningfully so uh, this is uh, third and the fourth tech news is that Twitter live video launched with a Periscope integration in app. The highlighted ones is that uh, the features in available to iOS and Android users users can now uh, live stream via Twitter for the two for this to work. Periscope is a mandatory download and uh, so uh, let's describe. Uh, Twitter has launched the ability to create live video via the Android and iOS apps with the help of Periscopes and just like Facebook Twitter will also allow user live stream video through platform via a single tweet. So the latest update from Android and iOS bring these features to tweet and it's uh, already accessible in India for this work uh, the users must have a Periscope installed on their smartphone by clicking on the uh, Twitter button the users will now see three new options for adding media convert via the camera. By pressing the camera button, you now get the options to add photo video and start a live video. And this point of if you haven't downloaded Periscope, Twitter will promote you to do so. After signing up of Periscope, head back to the Twitter to use the live video features. So once you click on the live video, you you are uh, directed to Periscope to start the live video, but it is also live stream simultaneously on Twitter as well. Uh, so the Twitter uh, reads by default live uh, has Periscope, and uh, all the users uh, on your timeline can watch it. You can stop the broadcast and even save the video onto the, your phone if you prefer. So, friends. Uh, and Facebook was the first social giant to introduce the uh, live video features on its app and Twitter has followed suit and it remains to be seen whether users will adopt these features as well uh, whole additional features as they did not on Facebook. So fifth tech news is that OnePlus 3T review. So OnePlus likes to be disruptive both in terms uh, on the products it makes and the way it sells them. In a price conscious market like India, it's no surprise the company has managed to make a name itself rather quietly. 
is flagship over the years has consistently offered top of the line commands and nearly half of the price of the competition which was has earned OnePlus its fame. The OnePlus 2 did not quite have not a wow factor to be honest but the company seemed to have gotten its act together with OnePlus 3. So we loved the phone, we review it and um, sorry I review it and has been our go to recommendation. So it was surprising that OnePlus decided to do a mid-cycle refresh for a phone is just 5 months old and so OnePlus 3D design and build its um, uh, first smartphone have to come from uh, craftsmanship and the OnePlus 3T is another signing example of this. The body of build from a single block of aluminium which fills a premium as a uh, flagship built in Samsung, HTC or Apple. The rounded edge make the device comfortable to hold and the button placement and the uh, tactical uh, feedback is also very good. And uh, an alert slider uh, on the left can be used to toggle between slide and uh, DNT that means uh, do not uh, disturb uh, each of which it can be customized. The 5.5 uh, uh, inch uh, AMOLED AMOLED uh, display has the same full HD resolution and coming Gorilla Glass 4 and uh, on as the OnePlus 3. Uh, pixel density is higher enough to ma ma mask and uh, um, which leaves you with sharp images of vivid colors. So we found that the dark them with neon green accents look best on a such panel. So color temperature is still of the color side just like with the old model but you can fix this to an extent in the skin and even with the temperature slider all the way on the warm end and the color still stream a bit of but it is not as bad as it was on the OnePlus 3. So OnePlus 3T specification and features, uh, I come to the first big improvement that is uh, associated with the OnePlus 3T users, uh, Qualcomm's newest uh, Snapdragon 821 chip which promises roughly 10% battery performance uh, in area like processing power, power consumption and uh, user experience. Uh, they are 6GB of uh, LPDDR4 RAM and uh, whopping 128GB of internal storage. And this model I reviewing I am reviewing is the higher priced variant 34,999 in Indian currency. Uh, but you can also get uh, the 3D with the 64GB of storage at uh, Indian currency rupee. That means rupees 29,999. The 3D also has improved read and write speeds. At least 120GB model does compared to the older model and according to the android wings result sequentially reads and writes c 15 to 20 percent bump but random writes and nearly four times as fast so oneplus 3d performance general general app and system performance is incredible fluid and fast as you always have uh, about 4gb of ram that's uh, your disposal uh, the generous amount of onboard storage also means you never have to worry about running out of space. Even if, uh, if you are compulsory media users, the new Qualcomm SoC can run anything you are through at it without breaking a sweat. Have heavy games like uh, Asphalt 8 run fluently. That means uh, superb. Yeah, even with extend users, the phone does not overheat, which is quite impressive. The OnePlus 3T fly fills through benchmarks. In ANTU, we go to the score 1.61.62 1, 1. and 60 FPS in GFX bench. And 
the display has a good very good sunlight eligibility to in wide viewing angle the phone also handle in 4k video playback like a camera champ and if we have on any criticism it would be the placement of the speaker grill uh, which tends to get covered by your palm uh, when you gaming or watching a video the front camera is the second biggest change of compared to the oneplus 3 it now features in 16 megapixel with sensor from samsung with an f slash 2.0 and fixed focus picture and incredible detail in gold lighting and look good under the low light too and uh, there's a bit of visible noise but uh, no color noise so pictures are still very usable and the smile capture works well and automatically starts counting down as soon as it detects your smile So the sixth tech news is that now Aircel announced unlimited voice call to take on rivals. So Aircel has announced uh, rupees uh, 14 and uh, rupees 249 uh, which offer unlimited calls to any number in the country. Aircel uh, RC14 offer unlimited local and STD call calling across all the networks with validate of one day. This offer includes Aircel to Aircel, local and STD, and Aircel to other networks, local to local and STD calls. And Aircel rupees 249, on the other hand, all allow to for unlimited calling and unlimited data with the validity of 28 days. The rupees 249 includes unlimited calls, local and STD across all network and unlimited 2G data users. Aircel is providing an uh, extra 1.5 GB 2G data to 4G handsets users. So. Vodafone Reliance Communication recently introduced unlimited calling plans as well. Both Aircel and Idea launched a two identical scheme offering free calls and limited mobile internet um, use priced uh, at around Rs. 150 and Rs. 350 with 28 days validity and in their attempt to match the uh, free 4G services from Reliance Zero. But Vodafone is offering unlimited calling for recharge above Rs. 144 and free roaming on Vodafone network and 50 MB free data and for those above Rs. 344 unlimited free calls and free roaming on all mobiles network and 300 MB free data for 4G handsets users and 1 GB data for 4G handset users. So that's for today. Thank you very much. So friends, I hope that uh, all of you understand uh, today's technical uh, news and um, friends, please subscribe my channel Fusion Tech and please, please comment my video, YouTube video and please like and uh, share um, and uh, don't forget my channel, stay tuned with my channel and keep enjoying. Uh, if you have any query, so please comment and uh, friend, please subscribe my channel. So that's for today. Um, I hope all of you are very well and uh, that's for thank you very much jai hind bharat mata ki jai